contact us form using php and mysql these are the fields name email subject and message these informations we will store inside a database table which is contact us it doesn't have any data because we didn't put our informations and didn't click to send a message so let's test it i am putting a name and the email address and the subject is the test subject and message is test message and then click send it message it will show you thank you for contacting us so let's check our database table just contact us and have one record so this is very uh, good and it's working fine so i want to show you one more thing in this application uh, now let's test it one more time so this time i'm putting a wrong information it here so putting a name and the wrong email don't have a at the red and any extension of the domain this is completely wrong email and the subject is the test subject and the message is less than 10 characters just test and when I press to send a message it will show enter a valid email address so this is also another uh, important thing to validate a form so let's create a project and uh, make this application so already I have a project which is my contact and it contains three files data.php, index.php and style.css style.css is not important so let's look rest of the files so index.php let's drag this one and drop it here so this is just uh, HTML files I'll show you line by line in a minute so first we uh, first I have a link uh, font which is Fira Science and also I have included the booster 3 which is here and here is my own CSS file which is style.css and rest of the HTML is the HTML form which is this one name email subject and message let's see input type text and the name its name is name its placeholder is name which is this one and another is the input type text and its name is contact email its placeholder is email and the next field is name subject and its placeholder is subject third one is the text area and its placeholder is message and its name is msg sorry placeholder is message and we have a submit button and can and it have a text which send a message you can change it to submit this is submit now and this form are sending this data informations to a data.php so let's see a data.php This is a data.php just drag and drop it here so let's zoom in a little bit session I'm starting sessions because this information all the field is required thank you for contacting us this informations are coming from a session right so I'll show you in a minute if you set a name it means you are typing anything it here it means it has value right if it, if it is ha if it is set we are checking the value right if it is empty if name is empty email is empty subject is empty message is empty it means it doesn't have any 
value it here right this it means this line of code if all the fields is empty means name email and uh, name subject contact email and the message if it is empty we are showing a message all the field is required you can put this like you can put this in this way sorry sorry for that this control x is remove and paste it here and this fades this error message is all the field is required I'm I'm storing inside a session and the session variable is a res which, which is response then if it has any uh, any error right like this all the field is required we are redirecting back to index.php then we are filtering uh, 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 email address by using this line of code if your email is not valid means you are typing your email like this uh, like this and it doesn't have any at the red and dot uh, domain extension it will filter this line of code will filter your email address and if it is wrong we can show an error message to a user and to your and to your valid email address so let's put like this one as well and we are storing this information which enter your e valid email address we are storing in a session which is response and if it means it means enter your valid email address it means this form have an error message and we are again redirecting to a index.php file if your message if your message is less than 10 character it means you are typing just three characters and four characters and, and wants to submit it will show this message message length should be greater than 10 characters and this information we are storing in a session variable which is res which is res and and again we are redirecting to index.php if everything is good with everything is good it means it contains a valid data then we are connecting to our database using mysql i connect it will take a four uh, three para, uh, four parameters first is the host name second is the database user username and the third one is the password of your database and fourth one is your database name my database name is a yt tutorial so yt tutorial you can see which is this one in my php my admin then we are collecting name email name email subject and message why dollar underscore post because our form has a method which is post after collecting all the informations through a form using dollar underscore post name contact email subject and message then we are writing query to insert inside contact us database table which is here so connection is basically your mysql i object and it has a uh, method which is a query and inside we can write our query string so query is like this insert into contact us and then then the field so we have a field in a table which is name email subject and message i'll show you name email subject and message and these are the value you can put your value corresponding to a name email to email subject to subject and this name email subject and message this are the variable and this variable contains our form information which is name email subject and message if your query is success 
it means your data has been su successfully submitted in a database it means insert it in a database this line of code will show thank you for contacting us if your data has been successfully submitted in a database table it shows a response thank you for contacting us and again redirecting to a index.php so let's handle let's understand dollar underscore session and the response so this response this one this one enter your valid email this is also inside a session and a message length should be greater than 10 this one is also in a session variable so let's handle this request using session variable inside the index.php so index.php just come here we are again starting a session using session underscore start and if is set our session variable if our session variable is set we are echo a session variable because this session variable it contains the lots of informations like enter your valid email uh, your message length should be greater than 10 and uh, all the field is required and if success if form is successfully submitted uh, and uh, uh, store the uh, store the data in a database then it it uh, 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 it have a message which is a thank you for contacting us so if this variable this session variable is set we are echo this uh, session variable and it contains lots of information uh, from uh, in a, uh, from data.php so pretty much we have completed so if you have any questions and uh, doubts you can uh, put your questions in a comment box.